Hello, welcome to Literary Life. So you guys, I have another first time box I'm so excited about. I have been waiting for this one for a while. So a reader, not a reader, well, I'm sure they are also a reader. A viewer told me um, a few months ago, maybe, I don't know, to check out the quarterly or the seasonal box. It's called by Second Star Books. Um, Second Star Books does off, author, author, offer a monthly subscription, but that's a young adult book. And I really don't read a lot of young adult books. They also have a Kindle subscription they call the Monthly Mouth. But their brand new seasonal subscription has um, a customized classic book, one of their beautifully hand poured candles, these like gorgeous enamel pins. And this is only the second box they've done. I saw an unboxing for the first one and was blown away. Um, so I immediately, once um, I, the viewer had told me about them and looked at the unboxing that someone else had done, signed up for it. There was a delay in one of the items, and um, which you know happens for sure. So this is a March box um, that I would say is a couple weeks behind schedule. Um, so it's finally here. I'm so, so excited. I can't wait to see. So let's get inside because this is my very first one. Cost is around uh, fifty dollars. I think I can't remember if shipping and handling is on top of that, but I will put that information below. Um, so we can see as soon as we open up the box, we have a gorgeous little thank you um, on the tissue paper here, and then I'm going to open it up, and we can see inside we have two boxes here, a card, um, and several wrapped items, and the book. Everything is wrapped, and I, I I just know from the one that I saw they did before that I was just really impressed with the quality of the items. So the card, um, the theme for this was the spring 2019, and it's Through the Garden Gate. Um, happy spring, book nerds. I am so excited to finally be sending you our spring second star seasonal box. This box was a blast to put together, even if it tried to cause problems every step of the way. Thank you for your patience waiting to get yours. I hope you love it. I couldn't think of a book to better embrace spring than, um, okay, I'm going to jump ahead. So then they lay out all the items, which I don't want to look at yet because I want to unbox each one. Um, yeah, the, the owner of this is lives in Montana. They have like a lot of snow. And um, one of her handcrafted felt, not felt, fabric items, um, when the snow melted and like it leaked a ton of water, I guess it damaged like all these items that she had crafted herself. A lot of this stuff is handmade. So um, completely devastating and losing a tremendous amount of work. So one of the things that I was really particularly impressed with was their candles that they craft. So um, that for sure, because, you know, if I, I pretty much, I burn candles just about every day, um, whether it's just while I'm hanging, while I'm reading. Um, so this one is called the Secret, Secret Gardeni. It's bergamot, lilac, and vetiver. Um, that is a gorgeous woodwick candle, and the seal on that is awesome. And honestly, this is one of those, like, I have started to really think about how I repurpose some of my um, candles that I get because some of the containers for them, um, like the ones I get from used to be Whiskey Diamond Candle, now Say Anything Studio, actually have held my succulents. <laughs> they have become really good succulent and air plant containers. Um and because of the nice seal on this one and the beautiful purple color, I'm already like, okay, I can use this for something. I don't know why yet, but this this will be fun. Um, but the smell of the candle, again, bergamot, lilac, and vetiver. I love vetiver, too. It's really nice. It's very light. And I'm a huge fan now of Woodwick Candles. Um, so that item I'm excited about. All right, so then we're going to go into a flat box. Open it up. So enamel pins are one of the things that um, I guess they are known for, um, and it, it definitely is high quality. Um, so you can see that that is um, a gorgeous bird with a key hanging from the bird, um, and it's made here by um, secondstarbooks.com. So right now, oh, I, I can't reach it, it's way over there, I have like one of these pencil now that I'm looking at it, you can't even see them because I put them in a box. But my, my pencil pen holder is like a, a netted one, and I had put all my pins like I was decorating around it. But now I've got it in this thing I got from Deco Creative, so you actually don't see it at all. So I need to come up with something 
fun and decorative um, without being tacky because I do like these pins. I think they're really beautiful um, to kind of start to, to make use of these. So, um, okay, we have the bird pin. Let's keep going. So again, just to show you where we're at in the box, I'm going to pull out, this is feeling very light. I'm going to pull out this item and then we got a couple items yet here. So again, $50, I just, I feel like the value um, from what I saw and when I'm, oh, it's an air plant. I love my plants. But what I saw before is so here. You guys, I could just take you around my house. These air plants, if you don't have air plants, these things are awesome. On the weekends when I'm not at work, I literally just run them underwater. And mine are just growing. And I have like these cool like lantern that used to hold candles like six years ago. I now put air plants in them. They're all over my house. So I love, I love air plants and succulents are like my thing now. Um, this is so cool. So I'm so excited. I actually have a Succulent of the Month subscription. Um, oh, this is one of the, okay, so Urchin, you often get these, and I want to be very careful because this is delicate. So see that? And then some people will actually hang them, so it's got the sea urchin, or they sit beautifully just like that. And let me get in so you can, come on, camera, autofocus. Autofocus. It's not autofocusing. You can kind of see some of the detail there. That is so pretty. Oh my God. In love. I thought the box was light. So well protected just by settling it in this um, paper here. Oh, and that is, that is beautiful. I am in love with this. I'm really happy right now. <laughs> I'm so, I'm, I'm so excited. Okay. And the white is going to go perfectly downstairs because I'm trying to pull in a lot of white accents because I'm doing more color in the background. Okay, so that is fun. All right, so next item. And you know what? She may have said because of the delay that she was putting in a bonus item this month. So just keep that in mind. We'll see how many items come in the next seasonal box. Um, but I feel like she did say she was throwing in a bonus items item because of the delay. Um, okay, so we have another candle, Hand Poured in Great Falls, Montana by Second Star Books. Rain on the Moor. It's lily, ozone, and sandalwood. And I am a huge sandalwood fan. Seven ounces. Mm, okay. Very light again. I like the clean scent. Another wood with candle, which I'm a huge fan of. And this. Oh, is it like, what, like if I take this out, there's like, does that mean, do you light the candle and it like, shines like a, a flowery thing on your surface. I'm so not. It's amazing. I realize how much I don't know when I unbox stuff and I'm like, I, but it seems to me like if you look at this, right, I'm, I'm pressing this in. So I almost feel like I remove this piece and then the light will come through and shine. I wonder if it's on there. I don't want to look because it's giving stuff away. So I will follow up on that. Or a lot of times you guys help me by telling me all the things I don't know what's going on. So yeah, I'm thinking this comes out and then when I light the candle, it'll shine um, a pretty thing on the ceiling. So let me know if I'm right so I don't burn my house down because I have a lot of books in the house and they are flammable, right? So it would be bad. Okay, getting into the customized classic book. So let's see what we got here. Start to open it up. And not look. We got lots of recycling. Thankfully, they picked it up today. Okay, so ooh, I see green. I see a really pretty green. Oh, that's gorgeous. Okay, the secret garden. So look at that green. Look at the. I love. Oh, there's the key. So if you don't remember when I that see that enamel pin, there's the bird. There's the key. I haven't read The Secret Garden in ages. Um, so they uh, re reprint, you know, these books. You have these really unique designs, which I think is fun. Um, and this is a beautiful cover. There's the side. Let me see if I can. My ring light thing I just got is it's a little better back there. And then on the back, you can see there's a quote. If you look the right way, you can see that the whole world is a garden. Um, and I love the fact that the air plant and then obviously now the secret garden candle ties into that perfectly. Um, looking inside, the font is nice. The pages look clean. 
Um, the book itself, as printed, is just over 250 pages. Oh, they even have a nice little the end. But it, it's it's well done. It's very well done, and I absolutely love the color. So very very excited about that. And you guys, there's like a couple more things yet in here. So again, this is. I'm just blown. I'm blown away by the quality. Um, so I'm looking at two more things. So let's get into this next. Let's see what we have here. Okay, that down. And then is this a? And the secret garden bloomed and bloomed, and every morning revealed new miracles. Okay. A, okay, this is pretty, I just, I don't know what it is yet. So I got to look, a glass display panel. It's got a hole here. So I wasn't sure. Yeah, I'm not sure. Huh. Okay. I have no idea. I need, I need your help. I don't know what to do with this. If it's just like, it's, it's just a print that'll just sit somewhere on my shelf because it's got the hole down here. I, I'm not sure if that's for a reason. Or, or not. It may, I don't know, but it's very pretty. There it is. So I'm guessing this just becomes um, a display piece, but definitely let me know if I'm missing something and I am wrong um, on that one. And, and it says, in the secret garden bloomed and bloomed and every morning revealed new miracles. So I do like the fact that that is definitely a unique piece. And I'm just trying to think right now, because it is glass, I feel like there's I feel like it's one of those things that it's not hitting me yet, but as I think about it, I'm going to be like, oh my God, this could actually look really cool here, being used here. Um, yeah, I feel like there's something on the tip of my head that's going to make that completely awesome, and I'm, I haven't figured it out yet, but I'm going to. I'm going to. I feel it. I feel it tickling. Okay, last item is wrapped here in a... In a bag. Ooh, it's soft. It's soft. Okay. All right. This is for a pillow. I am sure there is magic in everything. I, you guys, that's like, it's, you know, those like blankets that are like velvet. That's what this feels like. It is really soft. Look how pretty that is. And it actually ties in a you have the purple candle, right? So those look really nice together. And B, you know, so again, there is something with this. I'm going to do something brilliant with this, and then I'm going to have to take a photo and show you all once it hits me what my brain is doing on um, for this. Yeah, there is something there. Okay, so... This is going to be cute once I get a pillow insert for it, too. I'm really kind of getting into because I've gotten a couple pillow inserts. And my dog, my big great Dane Grayson, if you've seen him in other videos, loves to grab my pillows and bring them to me when he gets excited when I'm getting home, which it's adorable, but his teeth are so big, he'll poke holes in them. Um, so I got really nice ones in my deco crated. And I so far, I've been able to... I put them in a different room where I don't enter the house. It's like downstairs. Anyway, it's allow them to survive. And I'm kind of thinking the same thing with this. Like, I don't want him to get his mouth on this. Ooh, or I could put it in my bedroom. My bedroom's kind of a green, or not green, not green, it's gray. Oh, but we do have like a bright green accents that are sort of like, I, I don't know, I don't have the right color. But I wonder if this would give a pop of like the green maybe in here would work. And he doesn't get up on my bed. So this may survive. I may have come up with a solution for this. Um, so yeah, very fun. Okay, so let's do a recap. Quarterly seasonal box. This was for spring. Very well suited. You get a classic um, that is custom done by Second Star Books, The Secret Garden. You get several book-related items. So we have the throw pillow. We have the beautiful floral glass display piece. You will always get an enamel pin that is done by them and it's very high quality. You will always get a hand poured candle that is done by them. Actually, I don't know that they do the enamel pin. I'm not sure, but for sure I know they hand pour the candle. Um, they hand poured a second candle this time. That may be the bonus item. And then we also got the gorgeous, adorable air plant that's in the little um, sea urchin shell for $49.99. I'll put everything below, but to me, this is such a great deal. And I'm so 
I'm so excited because it's, it's fun. So I have to look back at who had um, mentioned this to me for me to check out their quarterly box, but thank you. Um, I'm absolutely in love. And I, thankfully now the good news is because it's running late. I only have to wait two more months, right? I don't have to wait three. So um, I can't wait to see what the next one is. Um, yeah. So, and actually, um, a viewer recommended another book subscription to me. I'm totally blanking on what it was called. Oh, Indie Books. Indie Books something. Um, it, it's a monthly one. So I signed up. I'll trial it for a couple months, see how I like it and um, share it with you all and then go from there. Um, so I, I so appreciate this. That's why I love doing this and you guys sharing this all with me. But um, I hope you enjoyed watching. Definitely hit subscribe if you, if you don't, if you haven't already. Um, I pretty much do bookish related stuff. Um, and uh, as always, thank you for watching. Ask any questions if you want below. I will follow up with you and take care. Take care. Thanks.